We are two weeks away from tax day, April 15th. That's the day by which all of us should have opened our books and calculated our financial deeds to see uh, whether or not we paid too much tax or too little tax. The scripture also talks about getting the books open. It's in Revelation chapter 20, and it says, and the books were opened. Now it's clear in this passage there really are two sets of books. One set of books is the books of deeds. Let me read the passage. I saw a great white throne and one seated on it. Earth and heaven had fled from his presence and no place was found for them. This is Revelation chapter 20, now verse 12. I also saw the date, dead, great and small, standing before the throne and the books were opened. Another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works by what was written in the books. So there are two sets of books, good and bad, the books of deeds, and the Lamb's book of life. Now, every religious tradition of which I'm aware has an understanding of this book of deeds, what you've done. If you take the Hindu view of reincarnation, uh, your reincarnation is based on uh, the weighing of your good deeds and your bad deeds. So you can uh, in re be reincarnated uh, in a better position or a lesser position. Even the pharaohs had a sense of this scale uh, that your deeds will be weighed. And in the pyramids, there are uh, depictions, artistic depictions of the pharaoh being weighed in the scale. And on one side is a very toothy crocodile uh, waiting to receive pharaoh and punish pharaoh for uh, evil deeds outweighing good deeds. And there's paradise on the other side of the scale. However, in the good news of scripture in Jesus Christ, there are no scales in that sense. There are two sets of books, if you will. Instead of good deeds and bad deeds, there are two sets of books. Uh, that everything's done in the judgment will be revealed. Nothing is to be hidden. Uh, but then there's also the Lamb's Book of Life. Now, this Book of Life is mentioned from uh, uh, the Pentateuch uh, to the Book of Revelation. It's all through Scripture. Moses, at one time, in intercession, if not frustration, says, blot me out of your book, uh, meaning this Book of Life. Some people believe that the book of life is the book of citizenship uh, of the kingdom of heaven. Uh, that's not a bad way to think about it. However, many Christians say either it'll be the book of deeds or the book of life. They read Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, for by grace are you saved through faith. Uh, this is not your own doing, it's the gift of God, not by works, lest any person should boast. It is not accurate to stop at verse 9. It is not either the book of deeds or the book of life. It's both. Ephesians goes on in verse 10. It says, we are saved unto good works. We are God's masterpiece uh, to do these works that he's prepared beforehand. So if our names by faith, by conversion and regeneration, we step into the life of Christ, our names are in the Lamb's Book of Life, it should show effect in the Book of Deeds in the life that we're now living. Now, Scripture says that all persons will pass through a flame, as it were, to purify us, and those deeds that are done by faith according to the Word will pass the test of fire. But it is possible to be a follower of Christ but never manifested in those deeds, and all your works will be consumed by the flames, and you'll be saved, as it were, by the skin of your teeth, without any glory to God for the life and the work that he's done in your life uh, in this present life. The books will be open. I hope when the books are open, the books of deeds and the Lamb's Book of Life, your name is well represented in there uh, because of the way that you've walked with Jesus. Thanks so much for watching.